Hello guys, I'm at Paulista subway station in uh, Sao Paulo and I'm about to go to downtown to have some fun in downtown and have a visit of places like Mercado Municipal and Faro Santander. Well, it is pretty much easy to uh, take Uber from one place to another in Sao Paulo, but however, if you are the type of a person who likes to walk around and explore the uh, areas, I would recommend taking the subway uh, in Sao Paulo. Subway is also convenient in uh, Sao Paulo and it's pretty safe to take subway and it's very clean, developed and uh, uh, there are a lot of lines I like those separation bars in front of the entrance of the train which let people enter through the middle and let others departing the train from the sides so it prevents people from having collision as you can see over here I am heading to Luz from Paulista I get off at Luz subway station and from there I can walk down to Mercado Municipal and Farol Santander all right we are here right at the entrance of Farol Santander building uh, this shot doesn't actually show the greatness of this building unless you take uh, footage from the far distance it's a quiet nice Sunday morning and not many people are around and for me, that was the best time to visit uh, Farol Santander. Okay, it's now time to uh, get into the building and discover the uh, different parts of the building. The building is about 528 feet, which is um, 161 meter tall. Back in 1947, when it was completed, it was not only the city's tallest building, but also the tallest reinforced concrete structure and tallest building outside of the United States. We just had a 360 degrees view of the building on a picture. Let's take elevator to go to the uh, 22nd floor of the building to have a very nice view of the city outside. This sign gives you information of uh, what's going on in every single floor of the building. Okay, uh, there is coffee shop ahead and I guess if I go to the left I can head, head out to the balcony and have a uh, view of the uh, city but I don't know to which side, probably to north and if I go to the right side I will end up having a view of uh, probably the opposite direction which is going to be south I believe.
Look what I ran into as I was going down the stairs. It's a very nice 3D picture. Is it real or cake? <laughs> Okay, we are now on different floor of the building and on this floor there are uh, classic paintings uh, hanging on the wall showing, representing the history of Brazil from slavery time to uh, probably 50s, 60s, 70s. Nice. It's technically an art gallery. All right, we are here at Mercado Municipal in Sao Paulo, and this is my favorite place. If you like cooking, if you are into buying a fresh um, grocery uh, to prepare your own food, this is the best place I can recommend. You can find high quality fresh meat, vegetables, fruits over here. I recommend you guys to be hungry when you get over here because uh, there is a vast uh, variety of food over here in Mercado Municipal. Um, from Portuguese, delicacy, Italian and German uh, the, uh, dishes or delicacy. So you're not gonna stay hungry, trust me. After the end of the Second World War, with the Brazilian economy booming, the market became the main food warehouse. The market is known for its stalls full of spices, seasonings, sausages, cheeses, wines, meats, fish, and a multitude of colorful ingredients that make the environment a true fist for the eyes. It's a place where you can admire beautiful architecture and explore a variety of imported ingredients and products. Okay, right now we are in the uh, uh, main food court of the Mercado Municipal. Here is the better view of entire Mercado Municipal from uh, this floor that we are in to have our food. Take care.
Brazilian martadella sandwich over here is very famous and it's worth trying it. Cachaça, como siempre, como siempre. Cachaça as usual. You know me. All right, we ordered Martadela Brasileiro or Brazilian Martadela and we have some beer over here on top of the Caipirinha that I had earlier. All right, the food is here. Just take a look. This is how you eat Mortadela Brasileira. You need molho de pimenta on top of your uh, morta sandwich do mortadela tradicional do Brasil and eat it. Just like this. Mm. It's really good, but it's very salty. I don't care because I stay healthy when I'm at home. I only eat out when I'm on vacation, just like now. Let's enjoy it. Mmm. Push those a moon. Now it's time to try some exotic fruits. Sapoti Brazilian fruit Sapoti Sapochi, the first fruit that I tried, was actually uh, sweet and it tasted like uh, caramel or uh, maybe brown sugar. It can be eaten for uh, dessert actually with coffee. Eu penso que é suficiente agora. Muito, muito frutas. The second fruit, uh, Atemoya, uh, was very juicy and smooth. Uh, it tasted slightly sweet and a little tart. And it reminded me of uh, piña colada. Cartão? Uh, Credit, debit, credit. 